Hello, friends, family, and America. This is AP. Time to review some rifles and stuff. Isn't that great? Because it's fun for me. Hope it's fun for you. And I would love to hear some responses and some, uh, some advice. So I appreciate all of your expertise. So let's get into it. First of all, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, all of those YouTubers who have a little bit of that juice in their cup when they're doing videos. Low Buck, SoCal, pretty much all of my homies. Cheers to you guys. Yeah, boy. We're going to talk about the Moisson, folks. Oh, my goodness. I like this rifle for sure, okay? It shoots the 7.62 by 54R, which stands for rimmed cartridge, okay? Packs a little bit of a wallop. So, that's that, okay? That's it right there. That's what it's, it's putting out. My moisture that I have is this right here. And after quite a bit of cleaning and um, trial and error, folks, I finally figured it out. I did uh, put it out in the sun for a little, uh, good two or three hours. Melted a lot of that uh, cosmoline off of there. And after that, I just pretty much wiped her down and decided to put it back together. This was Saturday. <laughs> and boy, did I have an interesting time putting this thing back together. Okay, not to mention I got a cut on my thumb from the little tool that they give you pushing this thing down here, the little retention spring. I also, and this is note to self, folks, if you do decide to get a moist and you strip it down, clean it, take it apart, make sure that you do not let the little trigger pin here that's located uh, where the trigger is, make sure that that doesn't fall out because you will not be able to extract the bolt after assembling it. I already made that mistake. Hope that you don't. It's a little pin about yay big and uh, believe me it's crucial. Okay, but um, I went and fired this on the uh, National Kill You Television Day. Um, I only took it out to about 100 yards because that was my first time at this particular spot and I was being a little uh, cautious to where I was going out there. But um, I fired, uh, what did I shoot? I shot only about 10 rounds out of this here. And boy, it shot straight as an arrow. I uh, shot standing and I also shot kneeling. I didn't do anything in the prone position because there's a lot of uh, steer manure out there and I was needing to find a good clean spot. But um, one of the major complaints that I found or uh, one of the major things about this rifle that a lot of people say is that it, when, after firing it, the bolt tends to get stuck. I did not experience this. Maybe that's because I cleaned it and, and, and oiled it really well prior to shooting it but I did not experience that not even one time in the 10 rounds that I did fire off it means it cycled just like that nothing was in the chamber boom boom didn't experience any type of uh, sticky bolt situations I'm highly considering either getting a new one and doing it or just doing it with this one here but I think I'm gonna put a synthetic stock on here simply because of the weight uh, and the durability um, but as is I don't think that you can uh, find um, for the for the price point I don't think that you can really find a better rifle than this right here for the price point um, not that experience in, in rifles but uh, just my first impression uh, this thing's great also um, had some responses um, or some comments about the kick from the rifle um, as well as uh, people recommending that uh, that I get a butt pad for this this metal piece right here. I believe I'll do that. Um, I did not experience a large or overwhelming kick from the rifle, but it does pack a punch. So um, I'm a little bit of a smaller guy. I think that um, it's crucial to really tuck that in you know and kind of get your wrap your shoulder around it when firing it and it mitigates some of that 
mule kick, as it was as it was pointed. But uh, my overall review on this rifle for the price point um, is plum phenomenal. Um, shoot straight as an arrow, five magazine capacity. Um, I, I believe that as long as you clean it and you know talk to her a little bit and, and treat it really well, I don't think you you should have any type of problems with this weapon here and it's pretty much accurate from what I've seen um, so that's my review folks um, I like it I recommend you get one just to have one even as a backup weapon um, if you do have some other more um, expensive or uh, quote better rifles um, and, and that's that's really it for now it's it's in there man. Um, she wants me to review this uh, wind up uh, LED lantern that we that we have. You want to grab it for me? You're not gonna... Okay, uh, we can edit this. I don't want to be in my pajamas. We can edit it. Looks like we'll be editing it. Here. Woo! Alright, here's our lantern. This is our lantern here. We got the... This is... Kind of took a page out of Lobuck's book. You know, he has one that's actually solar on the top. But um, this one here is, you know, you crank it here on the side. I need to get a little ball to put on the side just to make it a little easier to crank. But um, it's LED and has three different settings on it. Got a little, little steel grate around this. I don't think that's glass. I think it's plastic. But, um, yeah, man, this thing is pretty neat to have. I'm sure some people in the Detroit area wish they had one of these when that power went out for the last four or five days. You feel me? But uh, yeah, pretty neat little thing to have, something to consider um, in your preps. I think we're going to find a few more of these and just stock them away. It was $5. $5 was the price point on this. And uh, if we can't find some with the solar on the top, all the better, baby. So yeah, see if you can find one. Push button, boom, it's pretty, feels like it'd be pretty durable. I don't recommend dropping it off a bridge or anything, but, uh, yeah. It's water have, resistant. Yeah, and it's also water resistant, so have a couple of these in your stores. It won't hurt. Is that for a prepper? Moisten review, wind up, ladder review, and hey, keep it popping, keep it chopping, as my girl would say, but as I would say, Catch you on the flip side.